Some of you may have watched my video on installing and setting up Xenia Canary, an Xbox 360 emulator. While setting this emulator up wasn't complicated, having to change settings using Notepad may not have been ideal for some. A very kind soul who goes by the name of Shazam created an application that has made setting up this emulator so much easier. Xenia Manager is a front-end GUI that works with known forks of the Xenia emulator, but it really is more than just a GUI. It can download and install Xenia emulators, download and install game patches, and also can download and install updates. In this video, I'll take you through a full installation and setup of this amazing application. So without further delay, let's get started. I have pinned the link to the application below in the comment section. Click on the latest version located at the bottom right hand of the page. Once the page has been loaded, click on the xeniamanager.zip to start the download. Xenia Manager requires a manual install, so you will need an application like WinRAR in order to do this. I have left a link to this application in the comment section below. You will want to extract Xenia Manager to a known location. For this example, I'll be extracting the application to a folder on my local hard drive. Once the installation is complete, head to the location of the install and click on xeniamanager.exe to start the application. Initially, you'll be given three installation options. I personally recommend Xenia Canary and will be using it for this example, but I do recommend taking a look at the compatibility list to make sure that the game you want to play is supported. Links to these lists are available in the comment section below. If the installation completed successfully, a window should pop up confirming it was installed. You should also be able to see that the emulator was installed in the file explorer. Now we can add some games. Click the Add Games button. This will bring up the File Explorer. The emulator does support different file formats. For the first game, I have to select the .exe file and click Open. This should result in the Xenia Canary window opening for a brief second, followed by a second window with the title of the game. If the game doesn't come up, there are some other scrapers available that may be able to find your game. Click on the name and it should bring you back to the home page with the game added. For another example, I will add another game with the ISO format. Before playing with any settings, I do recommend making sure your games are running as intended. You can use the Reaver Tuner application to get an estimate of your frame rate and frame time. Now let's add a game patch. Game patches offer game enhancements and performance tweaks that can help increase the frame rate. Right click on your game. This should bring up a submenu. Select Add Game Patch. A window will appear asking if you have the patch locally downloaded. For this example, I'm going to choose No. This will bring up another window that will let you select a patch for your game, if available. Selecting the patch will automatically download and install the game patch, and you will get a confirmation window once it has completed. Click OK and this will take you back to the home page. Once again, right click on the game to bring up the submenu, and this time you should see an option for patch settings. Now all you have to do is click on the button located to the right to turn on preferred settings. After you've chosen your settings, you can start the game again to test out your changes. While the patches themselves are a good way to enhance and help to boost your performance, there are some settings that are definitely worth considering, so let's take a quick look at that. Xenia settings are located right below the home page on the left side of the window. Xenia Manager gives you the option to do some game specific settings and I highly recommend it. For this example, I'll be selecting Lost Odyssey. If you need details about a specific setting, you can hover your pointer over the setting name and this will give you a brief description. The internal display resolution can let you choose settings that were supported by the game. Keep in mind that these options may not specifically be compatible with your game. You can often find the available resolutions of a game on the back of the game case. The vertical sync option may need to be turned off for certain game patches. The graphics API gives you the option to choose either DirectX 11 or Vulkan. While Vulkan is often the recommended choice for GPU performance, 
It is still a work in progress and as such I recommend leaving this on any for the time being. Draw resolution scaling is an option that could upscale the resolution of your game. Each option is going to upscale your resolution times 2. So for example, if the resolution of the game is 720p and you change the slider to 2, then it will be upscaled to 1440p. If you plan to increase your frame rates and use this option, then you're definitely going to need a very good GPU to get good performance. The anti-aliasing option will let you choose two forms of FXAA. This can help with the jaggies, making texture edges smoother than what the original game offered. The scaling and sharpening option gives you a choice of using AMD CAS or FSR. Both are temporal anti-aliasing options that aim to upscale from a lower resolution to your current display's resolution, and as a result, won't take much of a hit performance as it would if you did so natively. Depending on the option you choose, there are additional options below that are available for tweaking the sharpness. FSR also has an option for upscaling the image that works similar to the draw resolution scaling option. So that pretty much is my current knowledge when it comes to settings. As you can see, the Xenia Manager definitely makes using Xenia much easier and I highly recommend it to anyone interested in using this emulator. If you found this video to be informative, then please make sure to give this video a like and maybe even consider subscribing as I will be doing more videos covering applications that work with emulators in the future. For now, this is The Core, your entertainment techie, signing out.